Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wawa and this will be my first video about League of Legends and it is actually about the new version that they introduce. It is called Dominion. If you guys don't know about Dominion, I will tell you guys more about it in just one second. First off, the heroes. We have Riven, we have Ramus, we have Lux, we have Wukong, we have Warwick as the opponents and then we have Tristana, we have Katarina, we have Warwick, we have Sin Zhao and then we have Twisted Fate as my team and actually i will be playing tristana tristana is actually the guy or the girl or the young lady that has a big big gun so anyways here we go this is actually dominion so dominion is pretty much a capture and conquer game style you're gonna control five control points then if you get more control points you will do more damage to the opponent's crystals so the crystals actually are really really essential here this is actually the ones that you are protecting so the crystals both teams actually have one crystal both starts off with 500 hp as you can see from the top they have energy bars or health bars right there placed for each other's crystal and opponent's crystal is the red one so if you have more towers uh, in your favor if you're controlling more towers it is actually gonna do more damage to your opponent actually it's just gonna be doing more damage for your opponent and they're not gonna do anything to your building at all or your crystal at all so that's actually always a good thing if you have more towers but then again i would actually suggest to just conquer three rain. towers and that's it just try to defend as best as you can because getting more than that is pretty much risky and pretty much ballsy uh, to boot so yeah just keep it to three towers but then again you don't really need to listen to me as i'm really just a lobby I'm just level 17 I think in this game and this is actually just my 10th Dominion match so out of all those 10 games that I have played this is actually the best one so don't really expect quite much from me but then again I did pretty good in this game so here we go first off we did capture the 5 o'clock or the 7 o'clock tower now I'm, an, I'm gonna go ahead and capture the 10 o'clock but then again Twisted Fate already captured it already so we are gonna straight on to the windmill which is at the 12 o'clock position so right now we do see at the minimap we do have Ramos right there already capturing it and Warwick as well for the opponents but then again Twisted Fate is gonna come in the frame right now so he's gonna be able to delay the capturing of that building but then again here we go Xin Zhao is also coming in from the right side and now Tristan is also right here as well focusing fire on Warwick Warwick goes down and also Ramos is gonna get focused fire right here Warwick has no chance of running away right here but then again he did want to kill off Xin Zhao though because Xin Zhao is really really low right now on HP he did ignite him but then again he did fail and capturing him as well we do have action at the bottom right there Katarina and Wukong are gonna try their best to defend against three opponents right there we have Lux we have Wukong and we have Ribbon right there gonna try to conquer the seven o'clock tower right here but then again is it gonna be enough though here we go charging in right now are those opponents and also with creeps as well this is gonna be really really intense right here us they are gonna try their best to defend before reinforcements arrive and finally ooh. Warwick is actually still alive right here and actually they're forcing away the opponent very very nice play right here and Katarina was able to kill off Riven very nice play right there and Warwick oh no he got snared and now Wukong is gonna be able to kill him off and Lux now is in trouble actually Wukong is in trouble as well as Warwick and Katarina are there to clean up the mess Wukong did go down and now Katarina is gonna try to chase down Lux but no Lux was, be, was sniped by Tristana right there very very nice play by my team right now actually so a little bit of more gameplay action i guess or more gameplay information uh, i don't really want to shout guess this because it's really really bad as this is actually the style of casting that i'm not really familiar with which is the call of duty style where you just look at the screen and just talk a lot about stuff that's not really ab not even about the stuff that's happening on screen that's what they do but then again that's not really what i'm gonna do but basically right now I'm just gonna try to make a heavy heavy fast attacking unit or hero Tristana right there already has a zeal and now I'm gonna try to get some boots for my hero then I'm gonna get more zeal as the game goes on I'm gonna try to get as many zeals as possible but I don't know I might deviate away from zeal uh, because, because those opponents are really really tough they're all close range heavy armor or heavy HP units so it's really really hard to penetrate those if you don't have that item that I'm about to get in just one second. We do have three units right there at the bottom or three opponents right there at the bottom as well. I'm gonna try to conquer the five o'clock position as well. But again, there's also intense action at the twelve o'clock if you guys are looking at the minimap. Since I did go down to Warwick, the 
good job right there by Ramos and Warren trying to try to defend. Oh, level 6 right there by Lux. And now he's going to be able to push in really, really easily now as Katarina and Trisana are really, really low on HP. Lux right now coming in the frame. Gonna do more damage here. I think Warwick is in the frame as well. Is he gonna be able to do so? Level 6. Very, very nice play right here by Warwick. Good damage right there being done to Wukong. And Wukong right now really low on HP. Wukong did go down and Lux also going down as well in that clash. We were able to defend this tower once again. Very nice play by my teammates as well. Warwick and Katarina doing really, really good job right now. But then again, we are about to lose the top tower. Oh no, we are only stuck at one tower right now. So our crystal is taking maximum damage right now. Not really maximum as they could actually get the fifth tower. And that's going to be the maximum damage. But again, oh, Ramos did kill Twisted Fate. But again, in turn, Ramos did die by the tower or by the power of the crystals. He did die. So unfortunately for him, he was too greedy though, but then again, he did kill someone, so I guess it's pretty much worth it. And anyways, here we go, gonna try to capture the 10 o'clock tower one more time. This is actually the key towers that you need to hold, because those are the closest towers to your spawning positions. We have the 10 o'clock and we have the 7 o'clock, and now the opponent's actually the towers that they need to secure are the 2 o'clock and the 5 o'clock, the 12 o'clock, and the windmill is actually just, this, it, this is pretty much anyone's game, that's pretty much what makes things more tricky. And that's where every, everyone needs to just focus on their what they're doing and just help out and stuff. But anyways, here we go. Three heroes again. I'm gonna try to capture up the 7 o'clock position. But they can already get what to do. So they canceled the top, the conquering right there. But here we go. Oh, Riven got sniped out right there by Tristana. Tristana gonna try to focus our on Lux. Lux did go down again. Woken right there. Gonna charge in one more time. But then it's not gonna be enough. All three heroes are just doing massive DP right here on every unit they hit because we have Katarina. Katarina just deals massive damage really really fast and Warwick can just easily just slam you to the ground. He's just insane. So those those years are really really good. But you do see me here just going for the same thing over again. We do see the gloves and the sword right there. The glove does promote 8% uh, attack speed or 8% critical chance and the gloves or the sword actually promotes 15% attack speed I think so that's actually really really well really really helps out a lot so whenever I get the zeal it's gonna add some movement speed as well so if we have three zeals it's gonna give you like 24% movement speed and also I have the boots of swiftness that actually gives me movement speed level 3 so that's actually the fastest I think you can move around uh, in this map but anyways defense again here right now for our team we this is actually the most important thing is just defend, defend, defend. We're actually still losing right here because we do only have two towers right now. But then we just canceled the 12 o'clock position right there for them. So now we have the 12 o'clock position and now we need to control and defend this bottom area. Again, Lux right there, get a level 6 one more time. Wukong right here, get a charging one more time. But then it's a really, really bad idea because that tower does massive damage. And here we go, Trisana gonna try to chase down Wukong right there. Is it gonna be enough though? He is gonna try his best. And Lux right there, missed with a stun. Oh no, this is really bad. Ooh, good snipe off right there. Wukong did go down. And now Trisana is gonna try his best to kill off Lux right there. Lux, is he gonna be able to run away? Good stun right there. Bad luck, good timing. And is he gonna get it? No, not even close. Wow, very, very nice play right there. By Lux, Trisana right here. Gonna be trying to be tricky right here. Can't try to just steal a tower right there. But no, it's not gonna happen. So again, this is me. I actually did kill like, I think, four people already. Four or five people, I, I don't really quite remember. But anyways, I have enough money to make two more of those zeal. So I have three zeals now. So I'm doing massive damage already. This is actually really, really good position for me as I have not died yet. But then the make sure we got an engagement right here. Again, Zin is gonna get focused right. He's gonna try his best to run away, but no, it's not gonna be enough as those units are doing massive damage here as well. Lux right, Katarina right now doing massive damage. Wow, very, very nice play. Katarina is gonna get focused right, but no, he's gonna get away. Very, very nice play. Warwick right now gonna get away. Wukong did go down, and Warwick did go down as well. Very nice play. Good cleanup job right there by my teammates. Damn, very, very nice play right here. I think I have four kills right now here, or seven. I'm not sure though. I don't really quite remember. But anyways, it's now looking in favor, in our favor at least, as it is right now the opponent's crystal are t that's taking damage. As we do have four towers as well. Oh my god, very very nice play. As they only have the windmill tower, that's actually the pretty trickiest tower that you can control. And they did just cancel the tower at the two o'clock position as well, and just recaptured it. 
they really really need to hold on that though because you know that's really really important and uh, here we go again Wukong and War are gonna try to take down the 5 o'clock tower right here are they gonna be able to do it yes indeed looks like they are as there is no sign of reinforcement coming in from my teammate and I just went home and just gonna try to take this item as fast as possible I got that plus, plus 40 attack I think uh, attack damage I d do need that and I do need the item that comes after that because those, those just adds on massive damage to your attack and you need those though because these units right here of those opponents are really really high in HP right now look at that I'm barely doing any damage right there with my plane attack but here we go we're gonna do another gank right here in the middle very very nice play level 6 attack right here by Warwick very very nice play Wukong goes down and now Warwick goes down for the opponent as well and Ramos is gonna get tangled right there very nice play Ramos did go down as well that's actually a very very bad play right there by Ramos he would have you would have thought that he would just run away because he knows that it's really really hard to save uh, that much units or that that much hero or that much teammates I don't know I don't know how they say it it's really really dire situation right there but anyways here we go look at that Ghostbusters activated they need to capture this ghost right now looks like the Ghostbusters that's what I'm, pretty much what I'm seeing if you guys are not familiar with the Ghostbusters you guys must be really really young because or I must be really really old that's why but anyways, Riven right here is going to try to take on the 10 o'clock position of the map. Uh, Sin Zhao is also taking on the 12 o'clock position as well for our team. Riven and Tusipate going at it, but no, Tusipate dying to Riven. Very nice player right here by Riven and not Tusana coming in the back as well. Going to try to kill off Riven as fast as she can. Is she going to be able to do it though? Yes, indeed. It, it looks like Riven is really, really slow, so she couldn't really run away from Tristana. As Tristana is one of the fastest characters right now on the field having boots of swiftness and also three zeals right here as I'm, I was able to make that item right now finally that actually does 40% armor penetration so that's, that's gonna allow my basic attacks to do more damage to my opponent especially the heavily armored ones here we go Katarina and Warwick coming in the frame again gonna try to save Kristana very very nice play level 6 doing massive damage right here good AOE splash damage right there and Warwick gets focus fired and now Wukong is gonna try to run away as fast as he can but again is he gonna be able to do so Kristana jumping in the air and sniping him oh very nice play Wukong right there did not stand a chance and since I was doing massive damage at the top of your screen if you guys missed that I actually did miss that I should have just followed that but then again, this is actually pretty much my POV point of view camera angle. And I'm actually just casting right now. I'm not really in control of the game right now as I am talking. But anyways, during this game, I was pretty much beasty. Not really the best beast in this game, but still though. Doing, doing pretty good. Not really that bad. Look at that. I'm on silver place right now. Riven here, they're gonna try to go from behind, but then Warwick did see that. And now Riven is gonna get sniped off. Wukong kind of in the frame as well. Is it a bad decision? No, yes, indeed. Riven did go down, and now Wukong is gonna go down as well. He tried to focus fire on Tristana, but no. As Tristana pretty much just became a bait, as we, he had a really, really low HP right there. And now, oh man, Warwick gonna try to go for the ninja still again here at the bottom. As I am just gonna try my best to just buy stuff as fast as possible. 25 HP remaining on the opponent's crystal. It's going down really, really fast right now. Twisted Fate is gonna try his best to capture Warwick right there, but then again, it's 5 HP remaining. And now the crystal has been demolished. We have won. GG for my team. Good game, good game. And I hope you guys enjoy that. That's a pretty, pretty interesting game. And Dominion, go play it. It's really free, free to play. You don't need to pay anything for it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this casting. Hope you guys like it. If you guys have any comment suggestions, violent re reactions, please do focus them down below in the comment section. And that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time.